Hi, I'm here to talk about when to use a colon in a sentence. Colons are usually used to call attention to the words that follow them. So a couple ways that that can happen is if you have an independent clause, a complete sentence, and you have either a list or a quote, a quotation after it, uh, here's an example of a list. She needed to buy three things, milk, eggs, and bread. And similarly, um, you can have a quote after the complete sentence. Remember what the Declaration of Independence says, all men are created equal. You can also have a colon between two independent clauses, two complete sentences, if the second one explains or describes what's going on in the first one. There was only one thing he could do. He would have to call the plumber. Both of those are complete sentences, but the second one explains what the thing he could do is. So in all the cases I just mentioned, you do have to have a complete sentence before the colon. If you have something like this, my brother's names are, colon, Mike, Steve, and Brad, that's not going to work because you don't have a complete sentence before the colon. A couple other cases where you'll use colons are after the salutation in a formal letter, in times, and in ratios.